American Horror Story. Whew. Oh boy. Ain't nothing uglier than that. Ain't nothing uglier than that. What's up guys? Before I start, uh just want to tell you the Duke of Fremont Street sends his love to all you guys. He told me to tell you. Uh he's got a sale on silver too, by the way. A good sale. Um $25 an ounce for some pretty good uh some coins. Um but he called me today, wished me a happy new year and everything. And, and if you're new to my channel, you don't know who the Duke of Fremont Street is, Google him. You know who he is. Absolute living legend. And every time, you know, no matter what I'm doing, if he calls me and I see his number, if I'm busy, I'll, I'll still answer. Because uh, <laughs> when you say one of a kind, uh, that doesn't give that man justice. But anyways, back to the shirt. You guys know who that is american horror story scariest story in, in the country right now maybe in the world and uh you know i'm I, I joke around you know i wear my let's go brandon bracelet matter of fact i got uh five thousand steps here let's get to ten thousand on this walk we'll see but i joke around I'm not, no editing in this video i'm just walking and talking and, you know, I joke around about that stuff and everything else. And I try to make light of a very dark situation that we're in in this country. Um, <clears throat> it's scary, man. You know, 2020, when a scamdemic happened, when I started to really, really wake up. I really woke up in uh, maybe 2011. I remember um, my, uh, my daughter's great uncle. My uh, my daughter's grandmother's uh, sister's husband, her great uncle, sat me down. This was during uh, Barack's first term. Yeah, about a year or two after that, about 2010, 2011. Black man. And he was telling me all these things about Barack Obama. And I was a Democrat at the time. Uh, but right around that time, that's when I started thinking things different because Barack wasn't doing what he said he was going to do in his uh in his hope speeches let's just say that and this man was telling me things that i never heard about ever all the stuff that we talk about today older guy obviously um and i was just enamored by him the way he was so articulate and so matter of fact and he wasn't saying it with any emotion or saying all oh, this that and the third because a lot of um <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of African Americans, sometimes we get emotional about stuff. He, he wasn't emotional, he was just very articulate. He, 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 you know, he had glasses, you know, he was just like a professor, you know. He spoke very slowly and he, and he spoke with purpose. And when he said something, you just knew he was telling the truth. Even though he was, what he was saying sounded like a lie because I never heard that and it went against everything I, I was taught or brainwashed to believe as a Democrat. And he told me a lot of stuff that I can't even say on camera. And then later on, as the years went by, I found out everything he said was true, man. Everything he said was true. I need to go see him too. But anyways, fast forward to uh, Donald Trump coming down the escalator. Let me say this real quick before I keep going. My Bitcoiners and my uh, precious metal stackers, two things. One, we're on the same team. Okay, we just feel like uh, our investment or our tools are better. Like Bitcoiners think uh, the way to uh, beat the system or use money is through Bitcoin, you know, to defeat the CBDCs and the printings through Bitcoin and vice versa. Silver and gold stackers believe the same thing, except we do it with silver and gold. I, I believe, um, you know, there's a, there's a place for both, um, depending on where you're at, your age, and stuff like that um, <clears throat> and what you studied more and where you live and geographically and stuff like that but we're on the same team that's number one number two politics are important for you guys to think and I and if for some reason if I title this video Donald Trump this or politics that I won't get as many views as oh how much silver do I have or is Bitcoin better than silver guys listen <laughs> If you don't understand politics, 
politics or the politicians will, will rule your world, okay? And they do rule our, rule our world to a certain extent, the people that are around us that don't know anything. I mean, they do pass the laws, but my rule of thumb when it comes to a politician is this, and I got two rules. Number one is I, I, I see, I wanna see who donates to them, right? Because whoever pays you, that's who you work for. I mean, <laughs> simple as that. If you work at your job and your boss pays, you work for him or that company or whatever. Number two, then you have to see how they vote because some of them may not vote in favor of all the things that, uh, maybe some of or most of the things, but not all the things that uh, the, the donors ask them to do or ask them to vote for when they, when they paid them, right? The reason why, and full disclosure, let me say this real quick. I donate to Donald Trump and I donate to Vivek Ramaswamy. Why? Because those two people, in my opinion, are the most American politicians that are out there. RFK Jr. is one too. Uh, if he was president, I wouldn't mind that because he's he's a constitutionalist and he's a Kennedy, ladies and gentlemen. He is a he is royalty in our country. He's the closest thing to you know Princess Diana and, and Queen Elizabeth and all that that family ilk we have in the United States. And look how they're treating him. Look how the Democratic Party is treating him. <laughs> that tells you everything you need to know, right? But the reason I vote with my pocketbook with these young young guys or young fellow like Vivek Ramaswamy and the older fellow Donald Trump is speaking of that real quick. Um, I'm campaigning for freedom and sovereignty, like I said in my little Bitcoin 2024 trailer, that one minute thing I did. Um, I am I am campaigning for Bitcoin in 2024. So 80, 90% of my uh, content will be about Bitcoin and I'm not working at all in 2024, meaning I'm not gonna do any DoorDash or do any jobs or anything like that. I'm doing strictly nothing but trying to orange pill people, giving Bitcoin away, educating them by giving them uh, Bitcoin. So if you wanna donate to the channel, all proceeds will go to that effort. None of them will be funding my life. I don't, I don't need the money. I do it to orange pill people. And sometimes I'd be forgetting I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'll be out here so much on the street. So if you want to help, uh, links are down below. You can uh, donate whatever you want. And, and if you don't, don't worry about it. And also, uh, I'm an advocate for buying Bitcoin. So if you want to buy Bitcoin, you could click on the link for the Swan Bitcoin. You get $10 free. Uh, and then um, you can buy like, you know, a dollar a day, 10 bucks a day, you know, weekly or whatever. And Swan's Bitcoin only. It is, you know, I'm only going to mess with Bitcoin only uh, exchanges. I'm also looking at River and stuff like that too, and a couple other ones. And then I'm also, I also have an affiliate link with the Bitcoin Way. <clears throat> That's an IT company. It's like a Bitcoin IT company that will help you set up your Bitcoin stuff. If you got some something in, in cold storage, like, you know, just on a regular hardware wallet or hot wallet or something like that. They'll show you how to do multi-sig. They'll set you up how to do a node and things like that. Uh, it's, a, it's a free 30 minute call. You can click down there below. But anyways, I hate commercials. Sorry guys, really sorry about that. But So the reason I give money to these guys is because I truly believe they work for us. I believe Donald Trump does and I believe Vivek Ramaswamy will if, if elected. Now, let me say this real quick. Uh, 2024, I believe, is gonna make 2020 look like a picnic. I believe that, guys. Uh, I hope to God I'm wrong, but I'm preparing like it's, that's gonna happen. And again, I'll, I'll get into more of that uh, maybe right before the end of the year or in the beginning of the year or something like that for 2024 predictions or something like that. But what's going on in this country today with the American horror story. Don't ever get confused and think that that guy's running things because he's not. You know it and I know it. But what is happening, right? Who is running things? Well, like I told you before about my my daughter's great uncle, all the things that he was he was telling me now that he pulled back that curtain. Um, it's like Bitcoin. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. 
And then I started looking at things in that perspective, watching CNN and MSNBC, Fox News too, and all these things. And I'm just like, wow, these people are lying to us, man. September 11th and I'm, then I remember the scam demic happened. But what really got me is Donald Trump. I'm gonna talk about Donald Trump for one second. So don't don't get all butt hurt, man. Listen, listen to me now. Hear me out. I know everything that's been said about Donald Trump has already been said, but let me just hear me out. When Donald Trump came down that escalator in the summer of 2015, I believe the United States of America changed. Um, they were already uh, on a course to do something that I can't talk about on this channel. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about. But when he came down the escalator, first of all, everybody thought, oh, there's no way this guy can win. You know, this is a joke. They said that he had plants on the, uh, I've, been in that, I've been in that place too, Trump Tower in New York City, Manhattan. Nice place too. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, he planted a bunch of people with Trump shirts on, Trump 2016 shirts and stuff like that. And they said it was all just staged and everything. Because remember, he was a TV guy that he was doing an apprentice. Now, mind you, everybody loved Trump at that time. Everybody did. But the day he came down there, that escalator, the day the tax came. And when I saw the relentless attacks, now, full disclosure, I did not vote for Donald Trump in 2016. But I will say this in full disclosure. I love Donald Trump. I'm not talking about the president wise. I'll get into that in a second. But I loved him as a man because he was a, he was a truth teller. And he was a son of a bitch, man. You know, he didn't, he didn't, my, I, I was raised by my grandmother that a, she had a very sharp tongue and she just told me like it was and she didn't sugarcoat nothing. I like somebody to give it to me straight. If I, <laughs> if something's wrong with me at my doctor's office, if I go to the doctor's office and I'm getting close to a heart attack, I want my doctor to tell me that. I don't want him to talk to me sweet and nice and all that. He's, they're not there to be my friend. Your president is not there to be your friend. He's here to tell you the truth. And the thing about Donald Trump I liked now, before he became a president, he was a relentless businessman. Relentless. The reason I didn't vote for him, and I was wrong for that, by the way, is because I felt like, I don't want to say Napoleon complex, because he's, he's a tall man, but I felt like he had, like, ego problems and stuff, and he's such a, a boss figure, and he's such the head of everything that nobody can tell him anything. So when he negotiating with Russia or China or something like that, at the time, very... Uh, naive for me to think this i just thought maybe he could send us to you know what nuclear you know what and uh i thought he just didn't have the temperament for it but i was wrong i was wrong i was completely wrong not only did he not do that uh but he whether you like him or not okay he did a great job man he did a great job until you know 2020 hitting the scamdemic uh messed him up but the relentless attacks this man went through in 2016 was unbelievable, man. Now, he said he was going to drain the swamp. And I'm not going to blame him for not blame, dra dra draining the swamp because he had some people that were surrounding him that uh, weren't good people, you know. And those people that surrounded him uh, were snakes. You know what I mean? How you guys doing? Good. And again, it's not it's not about Republicans or Democrats, guys, because one thing about Democrats, and I'll get back to Trump in a second, is you know where they're coming from, right? That's one thing I respect about Democrats is, man, these they stick together and they stick to the story. Republicans are weak as hell and they're, and they're snakes behind your back. At least you know the Democrats are just, you know, not all of them, but... 90 something percent of them but the republicans that snaked donald trump when he was president because the republicans don't want to close the wall okay they don't want to close excuse me close the border because they fought against him with that a lot of people don't 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 think that they think because you watch fox news everybody thinks the republicans are good they want a closed border and the democrats want an open border it's not that cut and dry ladies and gentlemen trust me go back and look donald trump went through hell and back and the, to uh, close that border. And the reason why he couldn't get it done, he can't get it done by himself. Because remember, <laughs> you gotta go through the House and the Senate first in order to get stuff to get passed. You gotta get stuff, go through Congress first. And then he has to sign off on it as the final signature. 
and didn't even make it up to him because in my opinion, the Republicans didn't want the wall to close because they can just say, oh, well, it was a Democrat's fault. They never actually come up with solutions, Republicans, because first of all, they're weak. And also they can just always blame it on the Democrats. That's what they do. It's all a game. If you guys think that you have a choice because you, because you have a Republican or a Democrat to vote for, you're sadly mistaken, man. Again, it's not about red and blue. It's about red, white, and blue. Be an American, man. Think about your country first. Everybody else, because you think, because I've been both. I've been Democrat for a long time, then I thought I was a Republican for a second, but I'm not. Donald Trump is not a Republican, neither is Vivek Ramaswamy. They just entered into the Republican Party. What I think he should do, I think he should have a whole set of new, well, a whole faction of a new party, in my opinion. Just call it either the MAGA Party or America First or Patriotic Party or whatever. Where are we at? 6,500. Hold on. Yeah, 6,500. And uh, that's what I would do. Just make an America First party. Because trust me, <clears throat> Republicans are not America First. A lot of these politicians, like I said, that are bought and paid for, they're prostitutes. And what they do is they enrich their families. Now, not all of them that are bought and paid for, I'm not going to sit here and say that they're all evil and you know, they're just like rubbing their hands together like Dr. Evil and stuff. I'm not saying that. A lot of them, um, sometimes they get uh, compromised by some things, you know, whether they did some dirt or not. Most of them did dirt and all of them. Um, most of them get involved with some things that they shouldn't be. Uh, they get that held over their head and things. So it's easy for me, a person that is not involved in that stuff, to say, oh, you're bad because you did this and that. But if I was in that position, who knows what I would do. I would like to say I wouldn't do any of those things. But if somebody says, hey, I see your daughter's route to school this way and this and a third. And hey, if you don't do what I say, not only am I going to do something to her, but here, here's an extra $250,000. It's easy to say that you would turn that down when you're not in that position. So I'm fully aware of, of things. I don't look at everything in black and white. You have to understand when you're looking at a point of view, no matter what point of view you're looking at, you gotta be able to argue both sides, right? The great, the late great Charlie Munger taught me that. He said, if you have a position on something and you think you're hundred percent right, if you cannot, if you cannot argue the other side better than your position, you shouldn't be arguing your position. Rest in peace to Charlie Munger, and I agree with that. <clears throat> I used to be a Democrat. So naturally, when I left the party, I thought I was a Republican. But I quickly found out about what my daughter's uncle ta taught me about basically the Uniparty. He didn't say the Uniparty, but now we know there is one. And with Donald Trump, uh, and today is, uh, like I said, December 29th, uh, 2023. A uh, couple days left in the year as we saw what Colorado did. I think it got rescinded now about trying to take him off the ballot because that wasn't going to hold up with the, the real Supreme Court. And then now we got this, the state of Maine, that one lady that just watched YouTube videos and clips and stuff. So, oh, you know what? I just say he's insurrectionist, so... That's why they keep calling them an insurrectionist. <clears throat> when you see that kind of thing happening, where the quote unquote, people that are defending our democracy are doing the exact opposite, it's scary. It's not about a democracy. It's all about power. It's all about domination and dominion over us. It's all about control, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about control and we know that. And don't get me wrong, I get caught up in that stuff too. Watching the doom and gloom stuff and watching the things that um, unfortunately get me down on what's going on. But we gotta focus on the solutions, ladies and gentlemen. And what are the solutions? Well, the solutions are learn about your government, right? Learn about your government. The first thing you should do, in my humble opinion, is start inwards and work outwards, right? So what government am I talking about? 
have a government in your home in your in your household in your home you guys have rules in your house right that's considered somewhat of a government rules laws whatever you want to call them whether it's your wife your kids when your in-laws come over whoever's at your house if they can smoke in your house all those things and then what you do while you're doing that while you're coming up with these governing rules or laws because you're the you're the head you're the ceo or the mayor or the governor or the president or whatever you want to call yourself <clears throat> when you lay those rules down then you work outwardly out towards locally what's going on with your legislators and your mayor and your representatives and figure out again those two questions i asked you about elected officials and also once you figure out if they're not bought and paid for by people you don't agree with then ask yourself do they align with your ideals and your rules and if they don't you probably shouldn't vote for them right but find out how it works though find out how your local government works and if you're in a city if you're a person that loves this country forget about red red or blue just forget about that for a minute i'm, I'm not telling you stop being a republican or stop being a democrat but you love this country first i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna guess that you love our country first and then because you want to be a republican or a democrat is because you love the country and you feel like these policies from that particular party is best for the country not the reverse it's not i love my party first and then my country second it's working ass backwards so once you figure out you, how you love your country and then your your neighbors love thy neighbors figure out how the government local government works and again if you're somebody that lo loves the country and you feel like the policies that they're doing in your local area don't match what you feel like the country should be based on your ideals and your laws and your governing rules in your home it's time to move because you got to go where you're treated best now again you can go to a red state or a blue state or whatever but then there's little pockets of red or blue or stuff like that you got to go to an area that people that your neighbors not only align with you but will be on your side if something happens and the governing bodies the local governing bodies line up with you too like i said then once you do that figure out you know what the city officials are doing outside the local uh town or the local county figure out what the city's doing then you figure out what the like i said the county then the state and everything else and learn about things on a national level once you get all that stuff uh, mastered if you don't then do that Learn who your representatives are, right? Learn about the House of Representatives. How many, what district you're in, you know? Learn about all that stuff, man. It's easy. If you're out here watching sports, I guarantee you if I asked you what Tom Brady did, you know, three years ago against this team, most of you guys can tell me. Or what LeBron James scored or something like that. Listen, man, I used to do the same thing. Those people don't give a shit about you and has no impact on your life behind me has no impact on your life <laughs> your lawmakers do we're at 72 7200 steps if you're walking with me keep track of your steps so and i ain't the fastest walker either so learn that stuff and then like i said on the national level learn about when you're watching tv and you see lauren bobert and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates and Chip Roy and Byron Donalds and I hate to say her name, AOC. You know, those people are from the House of Representatives. There's 435 of them in the House. <clears throat> one of those, one of those 435 work directly for you. Right? Find out who it is. If you don't know who they are, find out. Again, it's important. I'm telling you that. It ain't about just gold and silver and Bitcoin and preps guys I'm, I'm just telling you that then once you do that figure out how the house works i mean excuse me the senate there's 100 senators in this country there's 50 states do i need to tell you how many senators per state now i ain't a mathematician it's easy math too so when you see somebody on tv for your state 
Find out if you agree with them or not and find out who they are. Some of my favorite senators, John Kennedy from, <laughs> from Louisiana. Boy, that man is funny, okay? You know, I, I like a couple of senators and I, senators and I can't stand a few of them. <laughs> this is why people think I'm, I'm a Republican because most of them I like are Republicans. Um, but they're straight shooters, man. A lot of these guys, they don't, you know, I look for America first politicians, guys. You know, and again, I watch how they vote and who pays for them. But Donald Trump, even though he didn't drain the swamp, like I said, back to Donald Trump real quick. So learn that stuff, guys, real quick. Learn that. But Donald Trump, he didn't drain the swamp, like I was saying before, because you know I go on those ta these tangents. He didn't drain it, but what he did was he exposed, he kind of lowered the waters in the swamp and let you find out who the snakes were and the crocodiles and the alligators and the people that were really America first. Again, I don't care if you like Donald Trump or not. You don't have to like him personally. You don't even have to like his policies. You may not agree with him, but in my opinion, from what I've seen, I believe he's America first. Does he come at it from his own uh, selfish reasons? Of course, we all do, ladies and gentlemen. I love me some Bitcoin. I'm a nice guy and stuff like that, but trust me, I'm doing this for selfish reasons. Just like you do things for selfish reasons. We all have self-interest. Again, if you find somebody that's just completely selfless and says, says that, don't trust them because they're lying to you. What I trust, what I love to know and think about people or try to dissect people is I trust that they will act in their own self-interest. And I believe Donald Trump wants credit for getting this country back to where it needs to be. Remember guys, in 2016, uh, I think he was, how old is he now, 77? I believe he is. So seven years, he might've been 70. Or 69 when he uh, when he ran, then 70 when he uh, became president, I believe. Something like that. He was already a multi-billionaire on paper. This guy makes millions of dollars a day or whatever he makes. You know, do you think he needs the headache of going through all this? I really believe this man came to power and raised the money and stuff and did what he needed to do to make this country great again. I, I really believe that. And again, MAGA means make America great again. <laughs> he branded that one way and then everybody else turned it around and made it something else. MAGA means racist. And, I, and when I tell people, just break the words down. How is saying make, make America great again racist? It is because the TV told you it is. And the people you listen to told you it is. It's absolutely ridiculous, man. I want to make America great again. Do you? You think America's great right now? And again, it's not about Biden and Trump. <clears throat> it's about this country and you and God and your family. And so when I seen Donald Trump come in and I seen all these snakes around him, whether it's Democrats or Republicans, I quickly realized that my daughter's uncle's right, like I said before, but also it is very scary how much we've been lied to, man. I mean, the lies that we've been told, my God, man, my God. So once you learn about all the governments and stuff like that and how local things work and stuff, do I think voting for a certain person is going to get you saved? No, of course not. But at least you voted. You should vote. I hear some a lot of people say, oh, I'm not going to vote. No, no, no. You got to vote, man. You got to. Because if you don't, um, a lot of people died for you to be able to do this. A lot of people man especially me and the women out there so are the republicans and democrats good versus evil no i just think these people uh have a lot of self-interest in mind but hey you know like i said we all do but here's what you need to do you need to focus on the solutions and you need to reverse engineer and now that you started at your home and worked out now you gotta work back in and say okay I see things on the horizon. I see the storm coming in 2024. If I do, if I see it, and I need to be prepared. And what do I need to do? It's up to you. It's up to you what you think is gonna happen. 
again i'll get into that in my other video but i gotta tell you man i'm scared uh personally i am um and that doesn't that doesn't mean i'm not brave though a lot of brave men are scared and i i want to say i'm brave i don't know if i am or not i think i am but when something really really happens how am i going to act there's only there's only going to be one way to know and i like to say I, I would do this in this situation and do that in that situation but <laughs> i believe our feet's going to be put to the fire here real soon and with people getting taken off the ballots on one side and then the other side they don't even bring in people for questioning and there's no uh there's no penalties for the democratic party for doing this to um uh joe biden because the republicans a lot of republicans don't want i mean to donald trump because a lot of republicans don't want donald trump in we're, we're going through a historic time ladies and gentlemen have you ever seen well first of all i know you haven't seen we've never seen a president have four indictments and 91 felony counts that's number one and they you see how they all come together also we've never seen a president in the last hundred years hundred and almost 50 years since abraham lincoln being taken off the ballots because abraham lincoln was being was taken off 10 i think states because <clears throat> the union wanted him to not win because they knew that he would be a threat to the union and also uh he would try to end slavery and they tried to take him off the ball ballots and he still won and again there was no social media or media or tv back then so a lot of people don't know that but what donald trump is doing he is just exposing <laughs> what is going on in this country man and it ain't good guys there are a lot of things I'm, I'm definitely afraid of, man. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely afraid of these people. And for them to poison us with this food by uh, not admitting that they're <clears throat> printing all this money up and debasing our currency. And while they're doing it, they're just draining out all the nu nutrients and of our food and replacing them with fillers and bad things. And then the utter control they want us to be under like what they did in 2020 uh, if you would have told me in 2018 and 2019 this type of control would have happened i wouldn't have believed you got about 1900 stuff left guys again i walk slow <laughs> i would have never believed you that, that would have happened you know but it did and with that being said i, I still think we're winning though um because every single day that goes by Obviously, with this administration, uh, the puppet masters uh, controlling the puppets. I love this. I can show you guys this sometimes. Little museum here. It's got that. Uh, people live here too. Paradise Crest Manor. I try to walk by here every day. A lot of interesting stuff out here. It's got dinosaurs in the back, statues of dinosaurs. It's got the. Uh, shuttle right there it's pretty cool man love watch looking at history and things like that again it used to be an open museum but i don't think it's open anymore they just live there and well, wouldn't that be cool to live there but anyways um with the puppet masters controlling the puppets <laughs> my lord man and then what happened in the election of 2020, which you know I can't talk about on this channel, obviously. And them um, telling us there's freedom of speech, but they take the dislike button away. They'll tell you what to say or what you can't say underneath videos. And then they'll say, oh no, that's just a company, you know, putting their rules down saying, you know, you're not, not allowed to say that. It's nothing to do with the first, first Amendment. Okay, until it happens to them, of course. But with them, the puppet masters, stringing along these people and stringing us along because remember when uh donald trump became the president hillary clinton was supposed to win and when she didn't win thank god she didn't win let's just say the american horror story this guy right here when they did you know what in 2020 he became the president he has completely uh destroyed 
and reverse this country's uh, momentum and destroy this country's uh, infrastructure and everything else that I, I'd spend another 45 minutes talking about in record time because they knew in order to get to the agenda, in order to get to their plan, um, let's just say uh, they, they had work to do and they're doing better and a better job because remember, if Hillary was a president in those first four years, um, they would just did it nice and slowly, but now they have to speed it up. Can anybody say scam demic? <laughs> Anyways, so when all that happened, it's just like, wow, man. When you see how the people reacted and wearing the masks and standing six feet apart and just doing what they're told, I'm just like, whoa. But back to what I said, how I think we're winning is we've never had in history this much media online or online media, independent medias ever. What happened during 2020? A lot of people couldn't go out. So what'd they do? So people started talking and doing podcasts and stuff. And like I said, when Donald Trump, not drained the swamp, meaning getting rid of the people in the swamp, but lowered the water so you can see who was underneath the swamp. And you find out who the players are, whether you're a pro-American or anti-American, not Republican or Democrat. These people started coming out. Now, there's people that already had podcasts like Tim Pool and Joe Rogan and stuff like that. Patrick Bet David, really, he's come out of, he's he's done a great job, man. And all these podcasts coming out, um, whether it's on YouTube and then Rumble came out and all these things. Um, this is why I think what I'm going to say in my 2024 prediction video is that we're headed towards something that we did in the 1800s when Abraham Lincoln was president. I think we're in one now, um, but we just don't know it because we're so divided. You ever seen this country this divided? I haven't seen this divided since in my lifetime, but probably since the 1960s during the, you know, the Jim Crow era and stuff like that. <clears throat> and so with all these different outlets growing all over the internet and not just America, all over the place, independent media. Meanwhile, you see the lies now. People are starting to see the lies from C CNN and MS, well, the Crime News Network, sorry, CNN, MSDNC, NBC, nothing but crap, CBS and ABC, and I do mean CBS. You could just see, it's not them just going, leaning Democrat, going against Republicans. You see some of that too, but you really see them, to, in my opinion, just so plan driven and anti-american and against donald trump we've never seen anything like this and all that stuff is getting exposed and again it's scary when you really know what's, what's going on and I, and me personally when i saw that 2020 year i just went ham and and i was 45 years old i just went ham trying to learn this stuff man just trying to learn as much as i could and realize that i was i was being duped man I went to school for finance, man. You know what I mean? Personal finance. And I wanted to be a personal financial advisor. I guess I am kind of one now, but I try to do it for the right way and the right reasons. But not in the fiat world. I had no idea that gold and silver, that fiat currency was back to gold and stuff like that. And I went to, I went to finance school. I didn't really want, know what inflation was. So now I've been working my ass off to orange pill some folks. I didn't orange pill quite a bit. Let me see where we at. 8779. So we got a little bit to go. About 1200 steps. Sorry for the long video, guys. First, I was a silver ambassador. Then I started orange pilling people and stuff like that. Giving out Bitcoin, preaching the gospel, showing them videos and stuff. And the main thing is, if you don't want to buy Bitcoin, you don't want to buy silver, that's cool. No problem. That's okay. I think down the line, you make a mistake. 
Um, but one thing, most important thing is I need them to know that it was all a lie. You know, that this finance stuff uh, about saving and this, that, and the third, it's all a lie. Again, I, I akin money to a referee in a basketball game or any kind of game or a center, you know, on the offensive lineman on the football team, a center. You never see, you know, the guy who hikes the ball. The center, you never hear from him or you never see him or a referee. They're pretty much invisible until they do something wrong or until they mess something up. That's how money is. We don't really care about money till it's messed up. If you look up that website, what the, what the F happened in 1971, and we've all probably seen it, you see how everything changed, man, in the world, right? Everything changed since then. Again, because the money is broken. So what did people start thinking about after 1971? Because their dollars weren't as strong as they, as they used to be when their parents and grandparents came up. They started thinking about, oh, I, how I can be rich and how I can do this and that. Before that, they were just trying to figure out how to be a good person, how to live their life. Now, you can't just work a job and be a saver and save later because you can't save in dollars because they're debasing the currency. Now you got to be a part-time portfolio manager. Yes? And it shouldn't be like that. That's why I tell people, you know, start off with some metals or start off with Bitcoin. But again, learn what's going on here. And once you see it, you cannot see it. You cannot see money the same. You will not see a paper currency ever, ever the same. You just won't. And that's my goal. Even if they don't buy any silver or precious metals or Bitcoin, of course, that's what I want them to do. But I need them to know what's going on. And then once they figure out the money part, then you got to figure out of why this happens. Again, and that goes back to the politics and the politicians that you guys don't like to talk about. It's funny how you guys, a lot of you, a lot of you guys don't like to talk about anything political until one of the politicians pass a law that's okay for your precious metals or Bitcoin or something like that, especially the Bitcoiners. You guys can't stand uh, politicians. I always hear them saying, oh, it's not red versus blue. It's about orange versus green. We don't get into politi politics. But as soon as a politician comes and says they're, they're a pro Bitcoiner, now all of a sudden they got them on their shows and they're, they're ranting and raving about them. <laughs> and just like the precious metal guys, they say, oh, I hate silver. Uh, no, I hate uh, this, this uh, politician or I can't stand Donald Trump and who cares about them? They're not going to do anything for you. But then as soon as a politician says, oh, we're going to start in our state, we're going to start using gold back this and gold back currencies and we're going to back the dollars with these currencies, not uh, back the dollars with the gold and silver. Now all of a sudden, oh, this politician said this. <laughs> Come on, guys. <clears throat> so in order to wake these people up, you have to be informed, right? And here's how you learn. This is how you learn. You study your ass off by yourself. Learn everything you can as an individual. That's how you learn once. You want to learn, know how you learn twice? Teach somebody something you learned. Even if you don't know that much about it. Don't say, oh, I don't know enough about it. I can't, I can't teach it. You know more about it than they do. I guarantee you. If you've been in Bitcoin for a week or two weeks or three weeks or been stacking metals or whatever you've been doing or know about the fiat currencies being debased and all that stuff for a couple of days, I will guarantee you, you will be light years ahead of somebody that didn't know anything about it. So when you teach somebody, there's a saying that says once taught, twice learned. Teach somebody. This is why I don't want to rant about this. Let me see where we're at. I don't want to rant about this, but uh, about 9,200. I don't want to rant about this, but this is, a, I'm going to talk to my silver stackers real quick with the hand channels. Okay. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that don't watch gold and silver channels, a lot of those guys, they hide their faces and they show their hands and stuff and they show them have a little metal porn in their hand. Now, listen, I'm not dissing you. I love you. You guys are my brothers for real. I love each and every one of you guys. A couple of them I don't like personally, but that's just me. But I think you're doing, especially you guys that have a lot of subscribers and viewers, I think you guys are doing uh, your subscribers a disservice by just showing your hands and showing the medals and not showing your face. It's showing that you're too scared to show your face or you're not courageous enough or you got something to hide. That's number one. And number two, oh, before I get number two, let me, let me, say, let me say this. When I see certain uh, stackers going to gold, 
<laughs> go into bullion shops and you know they hide their face and they don't show their face but they show the <laughs> they show the uh you know the name of the shop and the metals and the uh and the coin shop owner and they show all the customers some customers not all of them but you don't show your face you got to ask yourself a question and just let's talk common sense here first of all who are you hiding from if you're hiding your face at a coin shop that we everybody knows the address to, we know who the, co the coin shop owner is, everybody in the coin shop can see your face. Who are you hiding from? Number one. Number two, if you think you're hiding from the government, uh, you shouldn't be making a YouTube channel, number one, but number two, uh, they know who you are, okay? <laughs> All they gotta do is sit outside the shop and see who you are and go in there and pretend like to be a customer. But also, like I said, number one, why you should, you know, hide in your face. But number two, you know, you got to be courageous and people are going to follow you and they got to think they got to hide too. How you doing, sir? They got to think you got to, they got to hide too. It's not duplicatable, man. You know, be courageous out here. You know, you guys are, there's nothing wrong with having gold, gold and silver, God's money. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? And if you're, you're afraid of the government finding out or anybody robbing you then don't be on youtube that's just how i feel about it man i'm sorry but i'm not <laughs> anyways we're almost done with this little walk got about 500 more steps and i'm a lot farther than that from my house so i'll end it with this even though i started with the Amer an american horror story it doesn't have to be a horror story ladies and gentlemen um again get your stuff together Get right with God. Get right with your mind and your body, also your spirit. <clears throat> Love your country. Love your family first. And these CBDCs are coming, man. They're, they're coming. And uh, a lot of bad things are coming. But even though they're coming, don't focus on them. Focus on the solutions. And not the problems and to me monetarily the only solution and the best savings account and to fight the cbdc's and the debasement of currency is through bitcoin i love each and every one of you and i'll talk to you soon peace and love guys